Yo, come with family, BBCD. This is the Bavarian Dead by Batman, and I'm back for one or two videos. So, this one is very different because it was made or started years ago when the channel started, and I didn't know which direction I want to take the channel. And I never finished it, but I had an interesting conversation with a guy that was weirdly in such a rage opposition to NFT and crypto that I found that this shit is still relevant. So I finished it and I promised Death Bunny uh, to make it, kind of. And here it is. And if you want to know why I was gone and why I won't still do a lot of videos, then watch after the video. If not, just skip that part. So enjoy. Yo, Ikomi family and VV City, welcome. This is the Bavarian Dad about Batman, and I'm going to talk about FUD today. Not really the specific FUD regarding Ikomi, it's more like a general FUD, why it exists, where it comes from, and why you shouldn't give too much about it. You all know this video, right? Do you recognize yourself on this video? We will come to this later, keep this in mind. So when you are investing in something new, you probably have experienced FUD and probably have experienced a lot of resistance and opposition from outside. And if this thing is new and you are early, which is what we are in Vivi, this resistance is much more massive and aggressive. You have people telling you all kinds of shit and that you're stupid and that you don't know what you're doing and that it's risky and all of that kind of stuff. Now, I'm going to tell you that this is perfectly normal. So let's have a look at where this resistance comes from and why it's there. The history of FUD and resistance to new things is staggering. It's mind-boggling and exists throughout history of mankind. I'm going to read to you some lines or some things people have said throughout history. This telephone has too many shortcomings to be seriously considered as a means of communication. This device is inherently of no value to us. This was a memo from the Western Union at 1876. I do not believe the introduction of motor cars will ever affect the riding of horses. Mr. Stott, Scott Montague, Mr. Scott something. He was a member of the parliament in the UK in 1903. Who the hell wants to hear actors talk? H.M. Warner, yes, from Warner Brothers. And lastly, something from my country. This is typische Berliner heiße Luft. This product is total wertlos. This is typical Berlin hot air. This product is worthless. Which was a letter sent by Heinrich Dreser, the head of Bayer the farmer buyer and he wrote this about aspirin so do you see a pattern people resist change and they do it actively i remember it took me years to get my first cell phone and a friend of mine had to suggest queens of the stone age so many times to me that it's absolutely embarrassing for me but why well it turns out it's our brain's fault because it does not like change at all and to be exact, it does not like the uncertainty that comes with change. And to be a tiny bit more exact, it does not like the loss that may come with this uncertainty. Even if there is a lot of stuff to gain. This is because in our brain, loss weighs much more than possible gain. It's like, I kind of want to dance because I like dancing, but I don't know if I'm still cool if I do this. Well, this leads to a very strong opposition to things that are new, different and forces people to change. Accepting that the world you have carefully organized and explained in your head may be flawed or God forbidden your explanation is plain wrong. This is a hard feat for your brain. There is a thing called cognitive dissonance where the brain tries to maintain harmony between your worldview and your actions. So if you don't buy NFTs, your brain might justify that action by telling you NFTs are a scam anyway. It is like if you did something 
even if it was a mistake, your brain is doubling down on it just to be right. And this is so strong that even facts and data are ignored to the point where it costs actual people's lives. This guy, Ignat Semmelweis, was locked up in a mental asylum for propagating washing hands or disinfecting hands before assisting mothers giving birth. His clinic had a six times lower death rate than other clinics. After his incarceration, they reversed his preposterous order to wash hands and death rose again. Nobody cared. It was more important to keep the status quo, to have the world explained as they knew it, than it was to save actual lives. Committing to change is hard and it takes time. Especially right now we know how important it is to wash hands. And you can see this behavior throughout history, with cars, light bulbs, telephones, around Earth, preposterous. But the right things will prevail. And they need just more time. The people need a little bit more time. Do you know the stages of grief? There are also some for change too. It's kind of funny, you can actually match tweets to these stages. Shock, denial, frustration, depression, experiment, decision and finally integration. Where are you on this graph? You actually are on the grass. Which one are you? This one? No, you're that one. You are the weird guy dancing to the music while everyone is judging and looking and being scared or in shock or in denial or frustrated. You get the point. But you are in the forefront of this new dance party. And this change is coming, there's no doubt about it. And once people come to the stage of integration, the foot and resistance will taper off. Remember, you are the guy on the grass. You are the Bertha Benz driving the first car to convince people it works. You are the first people enjoying the movies where you can hear the actors talk. You are the guys that buy these NFTs because you know it's the future. FUD will always be there. It's human nature. Know this and don't get stressed by it. Enjoy the ride and welcome the people that just need a little bit more time. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Gammaverse and all the other YouTube channels because I want to see more content from them. And by the way, does anyone know where the fuck Boise Crypto is? I miss that guy. That was a weird video. I was so young. Did you hear it? It was nice. But I will make another video with the thoughts about why I find this video still relevant and why this conversation was so weird. But for the ones, the few people who want to know why I was gone, it is that. My son got uh, his first cell phone or smartphone and we imposed some rules around that and in regards of this i was uh, i was saying telling to myself okay i could use some restraints too and i was cutting down on social media use and mobile phone use at home and all that stuff so i yeah i just didn't participate in this frenzy also the reason why i did that is because it was really exhausting and it takes too much time away from the things you actually should do and so i'm kind of easing my way back into the pile of shit and some posts on twitter twitter especially are reminding me of why i did that break <laughs> but a lot of it is fun and kind of I miss some of the community members that um, give me joy, make me smile and dad poo whale, death bunny, all the dead guys apparently. So I will do some videos sporadically but not regularly but I still am invested in OMI. I do still use the app almost daily although it is only 15 minutes a day and I still collect and I still enjoy this whole shit and my perspective with all that shit that happened and that is still happening apparently has not changed long term it just doesn't matter what what happens in this 
these times basically if everything goes forward to the place where the team sees Vivi and Ikomi and everything and where I see this takes a while but it's still still the same so that's it thank you for watching you're awesome bye now dead out that was I'm rusty.